You want to find out if you have a leak in your RV before it causes damage? We're going to show you how. Hey guys, it's Izzy from Endless RVing, the channel that brings you the best in RV DIYs, product reviews, RV tours, and so much more. In today's video, we're going to show you how to check your fresh water system for leaks. So let's get right to it. So guys, what are you going to need to do this? It's really simple. It's going to take you about 10 minutes. You're going to need uh, an air compressor or some kind of source to uh, blow air through your fresh water system. And then you're going to need something like this, okay? And this is kind of a, a homemade thing. And what it consists of, the most important part is this test plug end here. Okay, you need this specific test plug because if you look at the end here, what this little piece here is going to do is going to push the check valve that's in your fresh water intake. And then the rest of it here is the stuff you can get at big box stores. These are just quarter inch. Here's a quarter inch uh, nipple here. I believe it's three inches long. Quarter inch T. And then you have a, a quarter inch uh, valve, a manual shutoff valve, quarter inch uh, Schrader valve. And then you just have a pressure gauge up top. I believe this is up to 100 pounds, okay? So I'm gonna set this up and then we'll show you exactly what to do. All right, so all the activity is gonna take place over here in your wet bay. Okay, the first thing you wanna do, you're gonna to wanna to push uh, air through the system and blow out any fluid that's in the system, okay? Just do that. I usually set it to around uh, 45 to 50 pounds. Open up all your faucets, let whatever comes out until it's misting or just air, and then shut everything. All right, the second thing you're gonna to wanna to do, there's a screen that's in this little check valve here. You're gonna to wanna to pull that screen out, okay? Uh, then you're going to want to do is you're going to put the end of this test plug, okay? You're going to put it inside where your fresh water city connection would normally go hooked up. Make sure if you have a uh, valve that allows you to fill or uh, fill your tanks or go to the city water that it's on city, okay? And make sure this is tight. What's really important, guys, before you run this test, Make sure all your connections are nice and tight so you don't get any leaks from your actual connection itself. All right, the next step, we have everything connected to our freshwater hookup. You wanna, get, wanna make sure your uh, manual override here is in the open position. And then you're going to uh, fill up with air. I'm gonna fill up to 50 PSI. And you're just gonna get that reading off the gauge. Again, make sure all, right now it's at about 51 PSI, okay? So make sure, like I said, all the faucets, everything is off. You're gonna leave this for 10 minutes. You're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. After the 10 minutes, this should still be at 51 pounds. If it's not at 51 pounds, then there is definitely a leak somewhere, okay? The first place I will look is probably right at your connection. And how you're gonna do that, you're just gonna spray some uh, water with soap and you're gonna look for bubbling. If this is good, then you definitely have a leak somewhere inside, and that's where the fun part starts, okay? So we're gonna come back in 10 minutes and take a look at what's going on. So the magic of film, it's 10 minutes later and we're back. Uh, I checked the valve. It is still at 51 pounds, which means we are good to go, no leaks, and we are good for our camping trip next week. So if you're new to the channel, we invite you to subscribe below, and if you liked the video and found it useful, please give us a thumbs up. If you're looking to get the parts to make the actual uh, test kit, we'll be putting the links below in our Amazon affiliate link. Also, let us know what you think. Does anybody out there test their fresh water system yearly to find if any leaks? Let us know in the comments below. So for myself and MJ who's behind the camera, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the road.